Many years ago, the sacroiliac joint was thought to be the cause of much of back and leg pain, and then the herniated disc was uh, discovered and attention was focused more on disc herniations and people forgot about the sacroiliac joint. And we're learning now that the sacroiliac joint really is a source of pain for many patients. It's a large joint uh, situated between the sacrum and the large iliac bones on each side. There's only a trace amount of motion present there, but it can be a source of pain that's very difficult to sort out at times. The uh, symptoms can mimic pain from other locations and uh, careful evaluations necessary to establish the true uh, source of the patient's pain. Patients presenting with sacroiliac pain uh, usually have been trying to find the, the source of their pain for a long time. They've seen numerous doctors and have been advised uh, different diagnoses. They'll usually present with pain over the sacroiliac joint area, and this can extend down the leg, it can extend across the back. And usually the first thing I look for is what we call the Fortin finger sign, where a patient will point right to the sacroiliac joint as the source of their pain. And then we'll check their x-rays and MRI scans and rule out other sources of pain. Very careful physical examination is necessary to establish that the sacroiliac joint is indeed a source of their pain. We we'll usually embark on a conservative management to attempt to treat that and confirm the diagnosis. So treatment for this condition usually starts with a good course of physical therapy for proper core and pelvic muscle strengthening exercises. Uh, sacroiliac belt can be very helpful. Activity modifications are recommended. Uh, and for the people that don't respond, a diagnostic uh, block of the sacroiliac joint is performed. If we get excellent uh, relief of pain with a diagnostic injection, then there's uh, consideration for surgical treatment. The actual performance of the sacroiliac fusion using the high fuse technique involves a three centimeter incision with minimal blood loss, very brief procedure. The success rate for this procedure is very high. Very pleased to see so many patients coming back with uh, much improvement over their preoperative status. So I work very hard to uh, get to know each patient that comes to see me so that I understand their uh, personal situation and try to figure out what is gonna work for them in their lives and provide the care that'll optimize their their situation. I often tell patients that I don't treat x-rays, that I treat human beings. I'm not treating backs, I'm taking care of human beings. And I try to provide the optimal care for that person. Mm -hmm.